Wild Rose MLA and finance critic Derek Fildebrandt has really turned some heads after backing a united conservative front in Alberta that would mean joining forces with the progressive conservatives. On Wednesday, he told a radio station in White Court that, and I quote, the NDP are too dangerous, they are too ideological, they are too destructive to the future of this province to take chances. Following this, Brian Jean, leader of the official opposition, stated that he thinks that there's a better path than a party merger and that he has a more palatable plan that he'll announce at a later time. He doesn't see the sense in imploding both parties and he's been cold to the idea of a merger from the start. And then of course there's Jason Kenney, who's on the side of Derek Fildebrandt, is commending him for stepping forward and says that there are more MLAs that feel exactly the same way. To be honest, I think Albertans are just sick of politicians and I think this has been a recurring theme since pre-Redford days. And the majority of conservative Albertans want one thing, and that's to unite. This data from the Citizen Society Research Lab shows that 66% of Albertans would like to see the Wild Rose and progressive conservatives join and merge and be done with it and win the next election. So the Wild Rose should really be jumping on that plan, and I think Derek Fildebrandt made a bold move by backing a merger, one that was necessary. While most conservatives in the province want to unite, it's problematic while Jean seems to be trying to hang on to the Wild Rose party in name, and the focus of both Kenny and Jean became pandering to the media and the left when they threw thousands of Albertans under the bus for chanting, lock her up, at a rally. And what these actions show is more of an allegiance to party and putting more effort into trying to be liked than actual Albertans. And Albertans are tired of it, and I think that's why a lot of people are just left hanging and they're on the fence about who to back at this point, because nobody is really backing them. And they've just become expectant of this type of same old, same old from politicians. Look at this data from Alberta Can't Wait. It shows that almost one third of people don't have anything to get excited about. Let's be clear, if Conservatives remain divided by next election, they will lose the election and hand it over to the NDP. It's just that simple. Not only are they divided in party, but they are divided by rural and urban populations. The Wild Rose have a solid rural vote, although they are gaining some traction in Calgary. And then of course, the PCs have historically been very popular in Calgary. Make a deal and boom, the NDP is out. This isn't going to be perfect. In merging, you'll get rid of the progressives in the PC party, which will probably hurt their feelings, but that's a good thing because they're not principled anyways, and that's who lost the conservatives the last election. The party was simply giving up too much ground to the left by bringing in leftist policies and acting like leftists. And the Wild Rosers should really be assured by all of the old PCs whining about Kenny being too far right, which obviously isn't true, but it actually means they're in good company with someone that shares the same ideals. So what's the problem? We need more guts in Alberta provincial politics because our conservative parties are giving up way too much ground to the left simply to try to be liked by the people that are never going to like them instead of focusing on Albertans. It's time to put party and pandering aside. The countdown is on to the next election and these guys have to get it together to strengthen whatever might form of the Conservatives once the new progressive Conservative leader is chosen. And Derek Fildebrandt took a huge leap in being straightforward and maybe even going against the grain of the Wild Rose Party. But it was necessary in order to get the ball rolling by backing a merger. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked that video, you might like our premium content even more. For just eight bucks a month, you still get access to all of our free videos, plus our full length shows. Click the link to the side and check it out.